This is the Laser Pekka 4, a dual powered laser engraver that allows you to engrave on wood, metal and a variety of other things and in this video I'm going to be breaking down all of its features to allow you to decide whether it's the right purchase for you. Before I get into the video I just wanted to explain that Laser Pekka did send me this product to review, however this isn't a sponsored video so I will be giving my honest opinion. So starting us off let's talk about build quality out of the box and if you just buy the standard Laser Pekka 4 with none of the accessories then you are obviously going to get the laser pecker itself now this is built largely out of aluminium and it does feel like a very robust and durable piece of machinery it also i've got to say looks very professional and exactly what you would expect for the price tag that's on this thing but more on that later as well as the laser you'll also find in the box this wooden ruler which allows you to measure the distance that you are from the piece that you're looking to engrave you'll get these nice safety glasses which you should absolutely wear at every given opportunity and you also get all of the fixings and screws and things like that that you'll need to actually construct this thing and a really nice addition that they've added into the box is these little holder things and the way these work is you pop them on the bottom of the laser pecker and they can be screwed down just using two screws that come in the box and if you're finding yourself repeatedly engraving a similar object for example these coasters then you can guarantee that you've got them in the same position every single time Next up, let's look at the main features of the Laser Pekka 4. And first up is its dual laser capability. With an infrared laser for metals and a blue laser for non-metals, this machine offers unmatched versatility. Whether you're engraving on stainless steel, aluminium, or crafting intricate designs on wood or leather, or even bananas, then the Laser Pekka 4 handles all of them with precision. The optional rotary extension allows you to engrave on cylindrical objects like glasses or drinks bottles. Just make sure to take your time when you're lining this up. Emily, I've wrote ink up on your bottle and can even handle small projects like jewellery. Meanwhile, the sliding panel extends the engraving area, enabling you to work on larger pieces without any hassle. I've just been engraving and I can tell you that without a doubt, a laser engraver absolutely stinks. So if you're not doing all of your engraving outside, then you might want to consider getting an air purifier, which is going to filter all of those toxic fumes that any laser engraver would produce. And the way this works is you connect the top pipe here to the back of your laser pecker and the bottom pipe should be put out of a window or outside of a door just to allow all those toxic fumes to escape. But I'm nowhere near a window, so we'll just pretend like that. And I've got to say that this has done a great job so far. The main downside is this is very big. And if you are looking for something with a slim profile, like the laser pecker, having this next to it does make it quite a lot larger. And thanks to the Bluetooth dongle, connectivity to a PC is a breeze because you can just wirelessly connect this using Bluetooth to your desktop. If, however, you think you're more likely to connect your phone directly to the Laser Pecker, then that's going to work too. The Laser Pecker app that's available on both iOS as well as Android is the main way that I've been testing out the Laser Pecker. And I've got to say, it does a really good job and I would recommend it for anyone. It really does take away a lot of the complexity and I think often that is what scares people away, especially if you're a bit of a technophobe. Now, as with anything like a laser engraver, often seeing is believing. So I'm going to talk you through three example projects that I've been using this for. First up, let's look at metal engraving. And for metal engraving, I have two examples. Using the infrared laser, I was able to create this custom business card which honestly I just made for testing purposes, but now I know that this is possible, I am gonna be on the lookout for some nice pieces of metal that are card shaped. I also got myself a couple of these metal name tags and I made Bella, my dog, a brand new one and she really liked it. Bella, do you like your new tag? Yeah, yeah you do, you like it. You can also use the laser pecker to personalize your woodworking projects. And I think there's two ways of looking at this. If you're the type of person that say makes coasters like this and sells them on websites such as Etsy, then you could make it an additional option for customers to pay for them to be personalized. And this might be with their name. It might be with a message like Happy Father's Day. <laughs> Any of these things are going to increase your profit margin by offering that customization. Or maybe you're the type of person that doesn't produce too much quantity and focuses on quality instead. And you might be more interested in a laser engraver just so you can brand each of your pieces so people know that you made them. And lastly, it's a small thing, but something that I've really enjoyed using the laser pecker for. The fact that this can engrave onto metal means that I can label all of my tools. If you're the type of person that tends to have people permanently borrow tools from you, 
then this is a really nice use case that I think a lot of people don't think about. I've personally had both my dad and my brother ask me to put their initials on their tools just so that when they're on a job site, no one's going to walk away with them by mistake. As always, I like to end all of my videos just talking about the things I especially liked and dislike. And let's start off with the pros. Firstly, the laser pecker's ability to engrave on both wood as well as metals means that no matter what you're doing, the laser pecker has you covered. I really like how compact and portable the laser pecker is. As you can see here, the laser pecker is considerably smaller than the X tool, which means if you're like me and you're working out of a small workshop, you don't have to commit a lot of space to actually using this. You can actually have this in a drawer most of the time and get it out when you need it. I love how user-friendly the app is. It is honestly the main way that I've connected to the laser pecker to do all of my testing, which is great because it means that you don't have to go through the hassle of connecting up a computer. And a lot of people don't want a computer in their workshop, so this helps you get around that. And lastly, I really appreciate that there are so many accessories available for the laser pecker. The rotary extension and sliding panel expand its functionality allowing for larger and more diverse projects. But Jack, it can't all be good, right? What don't you like about the laser pecker? Well, there are a few things. Firstly, this is very expensive. It's gonna set you back, just the base model alone, about 1,400 pounds, which for a lot of people just getting into woodworking is gonna put them off straight away. Secondly, and this is the same complaint I had about the laser pecker too, is the carry case. And whilst this time it is a lot bigger than the previous, and that's mainly because the laser pecker 4 is a lot bigger, it is big enough to fit the laser pecker itself and it's big enough to fit the power lead as well as a few of the additional accessories like the ruler and the components box. It is not big enough to fit either of the accessories that you can get for the laser pecker. There is no way that you can fit this or this within that, which is a real shame because the only way you can actually get the carry case is by buying their ultimate bundle, which comes with both of these accessories. So if you are on the go, you are going to need the carry case as well as another box to actually carry the accessories with you. And the last thing that I'll say about the laser pecker is that small design does come with limitations. The actual area that you can engrave on any particular piece is fairly small, especially compared with something like the X tool, which is going to allow you to do multiple of the same designs like coasters all in one hit. And before I forget to mention, if you did want to buy yourself a laser pecker 4 or any of the accessories, then please do use the affiliate link in the description of this video. I do get a small kickback from that and it is the best way of supporting this channel. Now it's time for the big question. Should you buy the Laser Pecker 4? Well, I'm going to say that if you're looking for a small and portable laser engraver that is going to allow you to engrave on a variety of different materials, then absolutely, the Laser Pecker 4 is a great choice. If, however, you're looking for something a bit bigger that will allow you to batch out multiple sets of laser engraving designs, then you probably want to look at other options like the S-Tool S1. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you are looking for a laser engraver, but maybe you don't need to engrave onto metal, then you should check out this Laser Pecker 2 review that I did next. And you can do that by clicking here. Until next time, happy building.